Have you ever attempted to do something yourself, messed it up, and wished you'd never tried in the first place? With hairdressers around the world in government lockdowns to stop the spread of coronavirus, the only way I can keep a fresh trim is to take a bash at it myself. You look like you're going a little bit too high there, mate. This is painful for me to be watching, I'm not going to lie. Oh no, what am I doing? I've enlisted the help of Sean Moore, the creative director of Men's Spire Salon and a hairdressing teacher at the Men's Spire Academy. He's taught hundreds of students the core techniques for hairdressing, and I'm hoping those skills will work for me cutting my own hair. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so Sean, as you can see, I had a little bit of a go myself and ended up with a really straight bowl cut fringe. That's the only bowl I've got. I normally use it to mix paint. But now I've got your help. How easy do you think it's gonna to be to cut my own hair? I don't think it's gonna be very easy at all, to be honest with you. I wouldn't recommend that anybody uh, starts cutting their own hair at home. Um, but we are in, um, you know, very strange times at the moment. So many people will be thinking about picking up the, the clippers themselves. I have attempted to cut my own hair once um, and I have been in the industry for nine years cutting many people's hair. Um, and I struggled, to be honest with you, cutting my own hair. However, no, I do know um, a lot of barbers that do cut their own hair and some of them that do a pretty good job of it. But I've, I've struggled with it. So I'm a bit of an idiot for even trying. You are. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, so what are the I'm most what are the most um, the most basic or the most important skills that I'm gonna have to try and, and get to grip, grips with to do at least a half decent haircut? I'm gonna even avoid the word basic because it's not gonna be basic. It's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be <laughs> technical, especially in the way that we teach in our academy. Uh, you know, we teach technical haircutting to, to barbers across the world. Um, but really the most important thing for you to start to understand is shape and that's what ultimately you're going to be doing within your your haircut is you're going to be creating a shape so hopefully through, through my guidance and my instructions and maybe giving you some uh, some tips we'll, we'll come out with a half decent end result in terms of the equipment i sent you over a picture of the equipment that i've got yes. um so just to quickly run through it i've got my my hair clips i've got my combs i've got the water to to obviously get my hair wet i've got a set of clippers um, and, the, and the clipper guards, like you say. But luckily, I've also got some scissors. These two pairs of scissors, one is a pair of just normal kitchen scissors and these are hairdressing scissors. What are the difference yeah. there? There's a huge difference in the actual uh, build of these scissors. Uh, there's a huge price difference. Even the way in which this scissor is held and the way in which it is used is completely different to how you would use your ordinary pair of scissors you want your ring finger but on the other side okay to go through the the, the ring on on the top so come through on the other side with, with with your hand okay so your ring finger to come through there okay you, with your with your second finger you're going to rest that on top of the thing with your first finger, you're also going to rest that on top and then with your little finger you're going to rest that on the finger rest okay oh, this yeah. is how you hold the pair of scissors i have a bit of a confession to make with my clippers okay the only reason I have clippers is because I have a rabbit with long hair. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. I have a long hair rabbit, so I've actually got to pick out some rabbit hair before I even use these clippers. Right, okay. That's, 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 that's questionable. He's a clean rabbit. <laughs> I think most people will have a pair of clippers lying somewhere around their house, whether they use it to, you know, trim themselves up in their intimate areas or trim their rabbits. They, they, <laughs> they, they have a clipper somewhere within their house. Having sent a few photos to Sean earlier, we decided to focus on removing the bulk of the hair that had built up around the sides and back before attempting to blend in the top with scissors. So let's talk preparation then. We know we know roughly what kind of haircut we're going for. We've got yeah. the, we've got the area sorted. Um, I've also got a towel that I'm going to put around myself just to try and you know catch that hair that falls yeah. off. How do we start to prepare for that haircut? I think what we will do is we will start on the sides and the back. So if you kind of comb your hair over to the side into the general style that you're going to be that you're going to be having, just so I can kind of see. Decide what you've got parted out there, that is where we're going to start the haircut. Really, what we need to do is make sure we start with the highest attachment comb, just because, for obvious reasons, it's going to take less hair off 
and give us more room uh, to, 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 you know, make any mistakes that we may make. Also, what we have on the clipper is a lever. And what that will do is that will just um, in increase the length ever so slightly when it is open and when it is closed, it will reduce the length ever so slightly. So if we have a four attached onto the onto the clipper with the lever open, that becomes a 4.5. We, we have a, f a flat part here of the clipper guard. But what you're actually gonna be doing with this clipper guard, okay, is it's gonna be coming in through the bottom on the side, okay? And you're gonna be resting the flat part of the, of the guard. And what you're gonna be doing is just slowly pushing up. You're gonna go really slowly up, up, up. And, and, and that's great. And as you get to the top of your head is you're gonna come off of the curvature. You're not gonna go round. Does that make sense? There is a risk, okay, that the guard, if it's not properly attached, can come off. And if it comes off, you're actually going to give yourself a zero on the side of your head. Right, okay. Cool. If we if we, if we, we just take the, the clipper away from your head first, let's turn the clipper on. We're going to do it bit by bit. So what I want you to do now is just from the sideburn area, okay, just, just, just right at the very bottom, press quite firmly on the angled part of, of your clipper. So press quite firmly and then firmly at quite a slow pace, just push up. Okay, so just slowly keep going, keep going. Keep going, and as you get to the top, just kind of come away with the with the clipper, as I said. Okay, that's fine. Now, what's gonna what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to be, we're gonna need to actually go over the same area a couple right. of times because it, we're not gonna catch all of the hair every single time. Right. Yep. Yep. So you're going in with the angle there. You're gonna come straight up, straight up, straight up, and then kind of off at that point. Yeah. That's cool. So you'll see. Them longer hairs you might not be catching. Just keep trying to kind of flick them, flick them up. If you want, what you can do, you see, you've got all of that hair combed over. Get a, get a clip just to keep that separate. I'm, I must say, this is a this is a weird one for me as well, doing this kind of thing. Yeah, cool. So let's start to now with a little bit of conviction, actually, as you just were. Start to just kind of brush that up. Sean patiently continued to give me some sound hairdressing advice, but over the course of the next hour my cack-handedness gradually wore him down. You don't want to go into that too much, mate. Just, no. This is painful for me to be watching, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Do you know what, the towel's coming off. Oh man, this is tiring. <laughs> oh no, be careful there, my Oh no. But then, out of nowhere, a glimmer of hope. We're getting there. To anybody that's thinking about cutting their own hair, if you can ask somebody for help just to kind of clean the hairs off of your neck and stuff, that, that will help. And little ones around your ears. But again, I'm, I'm really trying to dissuade anybody from, from doing it. But Then we moved on to the fiddliest part, scissor cutting. So, right, this is going to be tricky, mate. What you could just do briefly, okay, is just with, with your comb, okay, comb into the hair, okay, and lift lift the hair up into your fingers okay so you've got your other hand into your fingers and hold it quite tight okay make sure you comb all the way through the hair and just just trim few of them ends off just a literally minimal 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 oh i've lost my thing now oh no what am i doing i just start to trim them little ends off there oh this is so disorientating yeah cut cut, cut. yeah uh, uh. okay yeah, we're only trimming the ends, that's fine. Right, comb it over into the style, yeah? <sighs> Mate, it's, look, these are not, I want to emphasize, okay? This is not the techniques that I want anybody to be cutting their hair with at all at home. It's not how I cut hair, it's not how I'm ever gonna cut hair. But the only easy way that I can teach you, okay, is by bringing the hair, okay, into your fingers, like this, into your fingers, keep your fingers square to the head. So your, so your fingers actually, oh no. This is dreadful. <laughs> no, don't cut that hair. Don't cut the hair, because the angle's completely wrong. If it would be easier for me to comb down and up like that, in terms of being able to get there. Okay, if you want to attempt that, then do it. I'm just going to look away. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, that looks terrible. <laughs> so I just don't even know what to say anymore. We've got people that come to our academy and they pay 
thousands of pounds to learn from us. You can't just start taking a clipper to your own hair. It's a skill. It's a profession. It's a trade. It's one that should be respected in the same way that you shouldn't be attempting to extract any of your teeth. You should leave that to the dentist just in the way that you should leave the clippers to the barber. That is my rant over. Let me have a little look at the back of your head. There's one little bit which is kind of kind of really overhanging. I don't know if there's any way I can help you on, to get that little bit. You can feel it. There's like a little bit of bulk like here on your head. Yeah, there. There's just a little bit too much there. Maybe if you just comb that straight straight up, okay, into your fingers as, as you were before. Bring your fingers up a bit more. Cut that off. Okay. <laughs> once you've done it comb that bit forward perfect yeah look it's laying flat now it was anyway really let me see from yeah look at me from a frontal view again good that's the style keep it like that that's all you can expect from a home haircut don't expect perfection you're not going to get it you're not going to get perfection unless you do it again and again and again and you master it some people can master self-cutting but it takes a lot of trial and error a lot of trial and error first time you're not going to get it. For somebody who's never cut hair, how would how would you rate this out of 10, given the circumstances? For someone that's never cut hair and, and, and cutting their hair themselves, okay, yeah, I'd say you've done, yeah, like maybe like a five, maybe. Okay, I'll that's, take that's that. That's the highest I'd give you. It's, it's been a challenge for me, that's for sure. What could I have done differently? And for those people who at the moment, you know, can't go to the barbers, but they don't want to cut them their hair themselves, what can they do to just like maintain it rather than trying to cut it themselves? Yeah, what I'd be advising for anybody really at home, okay, who, you know, wants to maintain what they've got going on again. If you do have some clippers and you've, you know, you've got a girlfriend or, or boyfriend or whoever, just to kind of trim up around your neck, okay? All of them long hairs that go on your hair and start going down onto your back, if you can get them hairs off, that's going to make you feel cleaner. But don't really start taking clippers actually onto the head. It's a professional's job and it should be left to the professionals.